साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी हैज हेल्प रिड्यूस पॉवर्टी एंड एडवांस प्रॉस्पेरिटी फाइट हंगर एंड इंप्रूव न्यूट्रिशन कॉन्कर डिसीज इंप्रूव हेल्थ एंड गिव अ चाइल्ड अ बेटर चांस टू सर्वाइव कनेक्ट अस टू ओवर लर्व एंड वॉर स्प्रेड एजुकेशन एंड एंड अवेयरनेस एंड गिवन अस क्लीन एनर्जी दैट कैन मेक अवर हैबिटार मोर सस्टेनेबल a nation's progress and its human development are linked to science and technology in both the same times china has emerged as the second biggest global economy it in parallel is right to the second place in science and technology activity science and technology can also remove national barriers unify the world and advance peace it can bring nations reach and poor in a shared effort to address global challenges but we also know that it can increase inequality make wars more lethal and damage our environment sometimes we learn about their consequences later as we did on climate change sometimes these are the result of our own choices for example information technology was meant to increase efficiency and productivity sometimes however its various distraction can easily overpower us how often do we sit in meetings and cannot resist the temptation to catch up on our message so when we speak of science and human development we cannot divorce it from the questions of political decisions social policies and of equity ethics and access human development has been the larger purpose and the driving force of indian science scientific pursuit and science has helped shape modern india at the dawn of freedom prime minister jawaharlal nehru placed science and technology at the heart of national development our students our scientists launch pioneering research and build outstanding institution with modest resources that continue to serve as well since then our scientists have placed us at the forefront of the world in many areas whenever the world shut its door on us our scientists responded with the zeal of national mission when the world saw our collaboration they reached out with openness that is inherent in our society they have elevated some of our most acute and pressing challenges of human development they help us overcome dependence on others 
for such basic needs as food. They have secured our borders, supported industrial progress, and given our people a life of opportunities and dignity. Our scientists put Mangalayan in the Mars orbit in the first attempt. And the accurate prediction of cyclone Hulhul saved thousands of lives. Our nuclear scientists work for our energy security and they have also placed India at the Asian forefront in cancer research and treatment. Our achievements give us pride, but they do not blind us to the enormous challenges that we face in India. We are yet another moment of expectation and excitement as we were at the birth of independent India. There is a mood of optimism for change in the country the energy to pursue it and confidence to achieve it. But the dreams we all share for India will depend as much on science and technology as it will on policy and resources. To make our agriculture more resilient and is more to develop appropriate and affordable technologies for rural areas to do more from our drop of water and explore the potential of marine resources to preserve our biodiversity and keep our environment clean to improve health care and develop medicines and medical devices that is within the reach of the poorest. To make green energy affordable and its use more efficient, to use technology to realize our dream of housing and sustain sanitation for all. To find our own solutions, to make our cities cleaner and more habitable to turn wealth into wealth and resources for sustainable infrastructure of the future. To use internet to improve human development, to make India a leading manufacturing nation and a hub for knowledge and technology intensive industries. To me, the arms of science and technology and innovation must reach the poor age, the remotest and the most vulnerable person. This is an enterprise of national importance in which each of us government, industry, national laboratories, universities and research institutions have to work together. Too often, a discussion on science and technology is reduced to a question of budget. It is important. And I am confident that it will continue to grow. But our own achievements have shown that very often in need and reason and passion are more important than resource for success. And it is how you use resources that will determine how effective we are in making science and technology work for us. 
our development challenges will naturally shape our strategic priorities in science and technology. Even as we focus on some key areas, we should not confine research and development to a few predetermined parts. And it is as important to focus on basic research as on research and development and innovation. We should also recognize that science is universal, but technology can be low. If we incorporate traditional and local knowledge, systems and technologies, we may develop more appropriate, effective, affordable and sustainable solutions that contribute immensely human development and progress. At the major source of science and technology, effort in this country, government must do it its part. When I speak of ease of doing business in India, I also want to pay equal attention to the ease of doing research and development in India. Funding the proposal must not take too long to clear. Meeting application requirements should not become more complex than research. Approval process should not become a deterrent for international conferences. And our scientific department must have a flexibility of funding decisions based on the uncertainties inherent in research activities. We want our scientists and researchers to explore the mysteries of science, not of government procedures. We want them to consider publications not government approval to be the epitome of their success. We must also have a clear regulatory policy for research and development in areas like biotechnology, nanoscience, agriculture, and clinical research. We should ensure that our strong intellectual property regime continues to work effectively and provides the right balance between private incentives and social good. Further, not just scientific departments, but every other department in the government should see how to apply science and technology and promote research to improve their work. Each should have an officer focusing on science and technology relating to its area of work and allocate a percentage of its budget for such activities. We have begun this experience with space technology. Investment in science and technology activities should also become part of the expenditure on corporate social responsibility to be funded directly or through an autonomous fund. We also need to foster a strong culture of cooperation between institutions and across disciplines to take advantage of developments, innovations and expertise in diverse areas. My impression is that this is far from the ideal in India. I will ask our ministry to make collaborations a critical requirement for their institution and for supporting funding requests for research. We need to put science and technology and innovation at the top of national priorities. 
I am confident that we can do it. We in India are the inheritors of a thriving tradition of Indian science and technology since ancient times. Mathematics and medicine, metallurgy and mining, calculus and textiles, architecture and astronomy. The contribution of the Indian civilization to human knowledge and advancement has been rich and varied. We can draw inspiration and confidence from our numerous success over the past six decades in difficult circumstances. The strength of our many institutions and India's rich talent in science reflected the five distinguished Indian scientists whom we have just honored. Above all, we must restore the pride of prestige of science and scientists in our nation. Revive the romance of science in society. Rekindle the love for it in our children and encourage our scientists to dream, imagine and explore. You will have no better supporter than me. In turn, I seek your help in transforming India. Thank you very much. Thank you all the way. Thank you